What's going on guys and welcome back to Upper Left RC. Today we've got some fun with the SCX 24s. Boom! I set up a tiny little rock crawler course here on the desk. We're gonna run all of them and see how they do. All right, so looking at the little course I set up, I've got um, a couple of these little markers and we're gonna see how they handle going through the course here. Uh, nothing crazy, just something fun to check out, but essentially we're gonna start out right through here Come around right through here. Ooh, I feel like a kid again playing with Hot Wheels, moving with my hand. <laughs> and then finish it over the bridge. The orange uh, signifies the start and finish. And I haven't ran it yet. It might be super easy. It might be kind of difficult. I'm not sure yet. But uh, let's get set up. We'll start with the Gladiator. All right, so starting out with the Gladiator, we're going to start by first trying to get through this entry gate without hitting any of these little orange turtle shell things. Okay, clean so far, through gate two. Oh, oh, my back tire is gonna hit. I've set myself up in a bad spot. Oh, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I hit the far one over here with my, uh, my tire. I think I'm just gonna have to take that penalty and learn to get around it a little better <laughs> with the other trucks. All right, moving on to the second gate. Again, I didn't set these up in a too terribly difficult way. I'm also not marking points like it's a competition or anything. I'm just having some fun. Hit that one with my tire, so that's two gates hit. These, these big Patagonia tires, you can see it's kind of the front tire right there on the driver's side locking up on the uh, fender a bit. It will move, but it's pretty rough. Cool. Just moving the whole course around. <laughs> oh, can't make it. And across the finish line and hell why not let's go back through the opposite direction just for fun All right, guys, so I was going to run the Hardbody Explorer next, um, my highly modified uh, Fury Tech Lizard with the Dumbo RC receiver and Surpass motor. Um, I updated the firmware just because on, on the Fury Tech app, because every time I turn it on, it's doing this. And it's just flashing constantly. The receiver's on. Uh, I can even... Turn it off, turn it back on, and I got nothing. Nothing here, no steering. I'm not sure what's going on. I opened the app, I updated the um, software, firmware, uh, and it's still doing this, uh, still having issues. I'm not sure what's going on or why it's doing this. I'm probably gonna have to get a hold of Fury Tech and find out. But if any of you know or have ran into this issue where it just continuously blinks blue. I tried different batteries, check to make sure it was charged. I put a fully charged battery on here. This one should be fully charged too, but um, nothing seems to help. Nothing on the remote is any different. I haven't changed anything. So uh, if you guys know what's going on, let me know. I guess we're just gonna skip this, uh, this truck today, which is a bummer. It's one of my favorite to run, but we'll move on to the next one. All right, guys, so I think my receiver uh, is shot. I grabbed the old, um, my old original deadbolt controller and ESC receiver combo, plugged it into this and it seems to be working. 
Uh, so I'm guessing it's got to be the receiver. I, the only way I've troubleshooted it is this works and this doesn't. Um, I'll have to look into that and find out why that's happening. It's very possible that when I, I don't know if you can see in there, right in front of the motor, I I cut away some plastic. It's been like that for a long time, but I'm wondering if some crap just got up in there, right up inside the receiver there, and uh, is just messing with it. It's also completely open to the side here next to all these pins. It's really hard to see, but inside there, it is, uh, it's completely open. So I imagine that you can get dust and debris in there even before I cut this hole in it. I'm just not sure why it's not working correctly. But uh, anyways, this should, I mean, this will work temporarily while I figure out how, how to fix it or get a new Dumbo receiver or some other receiver. So we'll, uh, we'll run it like this so we can get a run out of it and then, um, yeah, move on to the next truck. Don't worry about this another day. <laughs> all right, with all the crazy chaos and broken stuff out of the way, let's see if we can get a run out of this thing. Got a gate. back the other way. So far I feel like this one went much smoother than the Gladiator. I feel like this might be the smoothest one or maybe the Betty. These Fury Tech modified SCX24s are just so controllable. Ran over the gate at the end, wasn't even paying attention. All right, up next we got the C10. Brush the gate there.
right, second to last is the dead bull. Completely hit that gate. Hit a lot of gates with that one, but we're finished. All right, and finally, we're gonna finish it out with the Betty. It's tough for, tough for me on this. I hit that gate, but I didn't want to tip over. So we'll take the penalty. All right, and our final run back the other direction. Because I'm super impressed with the slow crawlability of this uh, Mofo RC Nano Beast motor. I mean, if you guys haven't checked it out, definitely look into it for a brushless conversion. You'll have to have a Fury Tech or another ESC that can run brushless on these, but it is so, so controlled. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for today's video. Um, let me know down in the comments which one you think did the best. Personally, it's a toss-up between the hard body, the Betty, and the Chevy for me. Uh, the Gladiator's just a little long for this course. The Deadbolt's a little unruly. I've got these really hard compound Enduras, and it just kind of has the least amount of upgrades of any of my trucks. It still did good, though. Um, 
short video, just something fun. Hope you guys enjoyed a little run time and a little practice for an event that I'm going to soon. It's not like a sanctioned event or a UST event, but I am going to go and take my uh, 10 scale crawlers out to a local course here next weekend, hoping to get some footage of that and just see how I do. So it's good practice with the little guys. Uh, if you like the video, leave a like. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Um, also, I have an Instagram. I'll leave a link down below. I just created one uh, recently, so that's pretty exciting. If you guys want to see photos, videos, and behind-the-scenes stuff, uh, go check out my Instagram. I've also got a Facebook page. Don't know how to use it. First time I've ever had a Facebook. I'm 30 years old. It's weird, I know. Uh, <laughs> but other than that, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.